Minister of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries Audley Shaw has crowned agro-processing the future of Jamaican agriculture. The minister was on location at a farm facilitated on an Agro-Invest Corporation AIC Agropark in Spring Plains, Clarendon last Friday. He also believes idle lands across Jamaica should be put to use for farming purposes. Agro-processing is the next major step that Jamaica has to mature into in order to make agriculture fully uh, be materialized in terms of its full potential for Jamaica. And when this happens, because these are models now, you know, that need to be replicated across the country, because even when you're on my way out here from Kingston, I'm tired for look for idle land. Mm -hmm. Tired. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and, and the irony is, the irony is, where we have idle lands, even on the way from Kingston, guess what we have? Idle hands. Yeah. <laughs> we have idle lands and idle hands. And look at this, look at this, and, so, and how this can be replicated across the country. Not just in terms of pepper, but in such a wide range of other things. The agriculture minister thanked manufacturing giant Grace Kennedy for assisting farmers with a market for their crops. Of importance in thanking Grace Kennedy that there is the take up from a major company like Grace that is doing the vertical integration. It's not selling peppers fresh, right? It is processing the peppers now into uh, a range of, of different items, including the famous great candy pepper sauces that are served. He says the government has plans to place emphasis on short-term crops such as peppers, Irish potatoes, and other vegetables. Minister Shaw also announced plans for the development of a state-of-the-art processing facility in Kingston. Other companies are getting involved in agro-processing. We intend to convert the old AMC complex at Spanish Town Road into a modern agro-processing center. That's part of what yeah. the mandate of the AIC, yes, sir. that we're going to be turning the old AMC yes. complex on, sits on about what, about 10 acres yes. of land. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's going to be done in partnership with the private sector. This is not government running things. No. This is government facilitating the private sector to make things happen. Also on location was farm owner Gary Colton, whose West Indian peppers were being packed for delivery to a Grace Kennedy processing facility. Mr. Colton praised the Agroinvest Corporation and briefly spoke to the effects the coronavirus pandemic has had on farming. We are trying our very best, given the circumstances of all the setbacks we've had, especially with the, with the COVID-19 um, pandemic. Um, it took about two months out of our growing cycle. So what we're doing now is trying to catch up and, and um, get, get, get cracking. And luckily for us that we have Grace Kennedy here that is, you know, as, as we produce it, they send for it. And so it's a good partnership we have going here. And there's a lot of support coming from the AIC group. Um, I mean, if, you know, we, we try to do a lot of things on our own, but if we buck shuffle, slip, AIC is right here to, to catch us up and keep us moving. For the Business Report on PBCJ, I'm Gabrielle Thompson.